Welcome to Statistics Made Simple. I am Savita Valsang. In this video, I will give an introduction to SQC, the three broad categories into which SQC is divided. We will also be learning the definition of SQC, the types of variations which are involved and the advantages of SQC and how quality control techniques can be applied in two different stages of the manufacturing process. Starting with an introduction, we know that in any production process, the quality of the manufactured product should be maintained. This helps to earn the goodwill of the consumers and to also optimize the production cost. Now the main challenge of the producer is to design ways to maximize his profit and to minimize the production of defective items. So let us now define what is quality. Quality, it refers to the characteristics of a product which satisfies the specified standards of measurement. Now what are characteristics of a product? It could be its length, weight, volume, diameter, thickness, etc. It depends on the product which is being manufactured. Many a times consumers feel that the manufactured product may not be in accordance with the quality standards. Some of the examples are a new purse may not have the zip functioning properly or a milk packet does not contain the volume of milk as specified because in many cases different packets of milk will have a small variation in the ml of milk or a shoe may not have a leveled heel a car may have cracks in the paint used on it or a bottle may have several tiny bubbles on it so let us now learn what is sqc sqc is the term used to describe the set of statistical tools used by quality professionals the control of quality of manufactured products using various statistical techniques is called as SQC. Now these techniques were developed by Dr. Walter A. Shibot who was an employee of Bell Telephone Company in the US in 1920. Statistical quality control can be divided into three broad categories. First is descriptive statistics. They are used to describe quality characteristics and relationships such as the mean, standard deviation, the range, etc. Next is the statistical process control or SPC. SPC involves inspecting a random sample of the output from a process and deciding whether the process is producing products with characteristics that fall within a predetermined range. Now SPC deals with the problem of studying whether the process is functioning properly or not. Third is acceptance sampling which is also called as product control. So it is the process of inspecting a random sample of goods and deciding whether to accept the entire lot based on the results. So acceptance sampling determines whether a batch of goods should be accepted or rejected. Let me now explain the types of variations. This is a very important question and concept. So don't forget the two types of variations. Now though the quality standards are specified for various products, there will be some variation which is unavoidable. When products are manufactured under identical conditions also, there may be variations in the quality. Now these variations may be due to chance causes or assignable causes. So what are chance causes of variation? These are also called as common causes of variation or random causes of variation. So a small amount of variation for which no specific cause can be attributed is termed as chance variation. Now these type of variations cannot be identified are unavoidable and they are also beyond human control and cannot be reduced or eliminated by any statistical means. Hence, one has to tolerate such variations and this variation is called as natural tolerance.
So let me take an example. A slight variation in the texture of the wheat flour in a packet due to the wheat grains. This variation should be tolerated by the consumers. Similarly, there may be a small variation in the amount of milk in ml in different packets of milk which are manufactured. So when variations exist due to the chance causes of variations, the production process is said to be in control. Now what are assignable causes of variation? Now variations due to substandard raw materials, improper machine settings, wrong handling of machines, electrical voltage fluctuations etc. occur in any production process. Now such variations can occur in any stage of the process right from the arrival of raw materials to the final delivery of goods. Now the cause for such variations are called assignable causes. Now assignable causes of variation can be detected and eliminated. So when variations exist due to assignable causes of variation, the production process is said to be out of control. Any manufacturing process undergoes three stages. First stage is specification. It is the quality standards of measurements fixed for an item to be produced. The second stage is the production. So the production of items must be according to the proper specifications. Third is the inspection stage. So here we have to verify that the quality standards of the manufactured item is met. Now let us learn some of the advantages of SQC. So SQC helps us to improve the quality and to decrease the proportion of defectives. It also helps to eliminate faults and prevent the loss due to spoilage and rework by timely identification of assignable causes of variation. SQC helps us to prevent financial loss Okay, so when the process is going frequently out of control, we can change the production technique. Then the producer can guarantee his product with confidence whenever he uses SQC. And SQC helps to provide greater quality assurance at lower inspection cost. And the sixth point is when any production plant has the SQC system present in it, then it is going to alert all the personnel who are working in the production unit. So quality control techniques are applied in two different stages of the manufacturing process. Let me now explain the process control and product control. Controlling the quality of the goods during the manufacturing process itself is called as process control. That is, a production process is said to be in statistical control if the products are free of variations due to assignable causes. This can be achieved by adopting continuous inspection methods using control charts. Next is product control. Now the inspection of the finished or unfinished items is necessary for their acceptability. So only after inspection and confirmation of quality standards, the manufactured lot can be accepted. So the process of inspection of the manufactured lot for acceptability is called as product control or acceptance sampling. Now this can be achieved by adopting continuous inspection methods using sampling inspection plans. Thank you all for watching this video and look out for my next video on SQC part 2 where I will be defining variables, attributes, defects and defectives. We will be learning about the 3 sigma control limits and how to construct the control charts. We will also learn what are the different types of control charts that is control charts for variables and control charts for attributes.